Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this week is week number 46. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I don't know if anyone noticed, but last week I completely skipped number 45. Um, I didn't even notice it until like a day or two ago. So I will go back and edit the um, the name of that video to 45, and this will be actually episode 46. <laughs> but uh, I want to say welcome to everybody, all the new subscribers. Hi, welcome. And welcome back to all you returning subscribers. Um, I'm in the bedroom today. I don't know how echoey it is. I hope it's not too bad. I'll try to edit it as well as I can. Um, Devin's off this weekend, so he's in there playing with Jesse, so I can film real fast. Um, it's Saturday. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like afternoon. <laughs> I honestly don't even know. Uh, we got up early today and we was running around just, you know, together enjoying stuff. And we just ate lunch. It's probably like one-ish or two-ish. I don't even know. I didn't even look. <laughs> um, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just hop into the episode, I guess, because, uh, I need to hurry up and go back out there with them. I want to spend time with them. It's the weekend. Um, first, I want to say one thing. Uh, on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram and on my Ravelry group and on my Facebook group, I have zero tolerance for negativity and bullying. If you're a negative person or a bullier, you might as well just unsubscribe or unfollow or unlike or un whatever and leave because you're not welcome here. Um, I've had a couple of negative comments, which I've deleted, and if I ever find anything in the group or anything, the Facebook group, I will also delete that because this needs to be a positive community. There's a lot of people in this group from all sorts of backgrounds and, you know, all races and all um, professions, all different walks of life. There's people who may be handicapped or I'm not sure what the politically correct term for that is. Um, or, you know, people who, I don't know, it's just, there's so many different types of people here, and you cannot, you cannot, and I will not allow it, bullying of any way, shape, or form. If I see any comments of someone bullying another person, or even me, or anything, I will delete your comment and block you from this channel, and I will do the same on all my other platforms. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, go somewhere else or do whatever. Go join a little hate group and be mad with a bunch of other people. This is a happy place. And if you can't be happy, you don't need to be here. All right, now that's out of the way. Back to the happy crochet stuff. I have two finished objects this week, right? Yes, two. They're both Christmas themed and they're both for our county fair, which ours actually starts August 31st. Um, I said September 1st the other day, but I was looking at the old calendar. So this one starts August 31st. So the week before that is when I have to turn in stuff. I think it was like the 25th or can't remember whatever the Sunday before that is um, so I gotta you know get started on stuff now I've already got some things I've made throughout the year so I'm now just starting to like buckle down and make fair stuff also if you're interested in fair stuff <sighs> calm down I got excited about that bullying thing but um, Kendra at oh gosh I'm always bad at remembering names hooked by happenstance I'll try to link her up there if I can remember um, she's also working on fair projects she's got this really cool little doll that looks like her called Peachlet and she's using her to pick them it's really neat go check her out but um, so the first one I started both of these after the last video so you never seen them in whip form I think I mentioned the stocking though I made one of these last year so if you've been here since last year you would have seen this exact same stocking but it was red green and white and this one is two shades of blue and white <laughs> It is, that's the side with the seam on it. Let's see here. Right there. It is the Holly Jolly Holiday Stocking by a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> it will be linked below. It's a free pattern. The top has a bunch of popcorn stitches on it. And then this is kind of like the Brainwaves hat. I don't think the same person designed it, but there was a hat that was real popular a year or so ago. And it's the same design. It's super simple. Once it's in your brain, you just do it. It's a four row repeat. It started with this light blue color down here after you made the toe. And you just repeat up to here and then you do it all, you know, again. It's super simple. I made this in a couple hours one day. I think it was Friday. No. Yesterday was Friday. I don't know. It was earlier this week. This is super cute. This one is a little bit smaller than what I made last year because the pattern comes with two versions. This blue one and the red and green one. The red and, red and green one is slightly bigger. It's just two different sizes. I told Devin at this rate, entering in the fair 
by the next Christmas, we should have enough stockings for us. Because I have one, and then this is two, and then next year will be three. I'll probably make the same one again next year, but different colors. I really like this pattern. It's super fast. And this would be a good gift idea, too, to someone. Because you could fill it with goodies. And it does hold a, you know, a good amount. The red and green one, like I said, is bigger. And, um... But there's a lot of room in there. You could fit all kinds of candies and little toys or gift cards or whatever in there. Really cute. I use Red Heart Super Saver White. Uh, this one is Red Heart Super Saver Blue. And this one is Red Heart Super Saver, uh, I think it's pronounced Delft Blue. It's one of my favorite color blues. It's really pretty. But this just came out so pretty, I think. Big old stocking. I always make the seam mess up on the foot part of these stockings. But the other seam goes right up the side. So you can't excuse me, really see it, and then it's got a little hangy thing. But yeah, and I used H hook, which almost all my projects that I, when I was writing down my notes is H hook. <laughs> my next um, finished object is kind of a double dip type object because it's for the county fair, I think. I might make another one uh, between now and then if I find a pattern, I'll, another one I like. But I can also enter this I already have, <laughs> and Claudia at Crochet Luna's um, hashtag box of ornaments um, cow that's going on all the way up till November, I believe, and it's a Christmas ornament. The pattern, it is, the pattern's called Christmas Ornaments. It comes with four or five patterns in it. It's free. It's by, oh gosh, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Mariana, I think. No, that's not Mariana. I'm thinking about the Fosters. <laughs> Maria, and then a K word I can't pronounce. It'll be linked below. It's a free pattern. The pattern calls for, I think, an E hook and uh, size three yarn. I don't have any size 3 but mandala, so I used um, worsted weight yarn and uh, elf hook, so it came out a lot bigger than the pattern, and it's actually huge, but it's still going to be cute hanging on my tree. I have a giant Christmas tree. If you watched vlog of this last year, you'll know, so it'll look good on there, but it's a Santa ornament. <laughs> it looks like a head, you like to a hamagrumi, and this is the little thing that, you know, you put a hook in. I, in retrospect, I wish I had made it white, because then it would look like the ball on his hat, but in the pattern, it's supposed to be gray, and I didn't have a scrap ball of gray, and this is made with all scraps. So I just grabbed a scrap ball of black, and I still got to get one of those little hooks to put in there to hang them with. And then it's Red Heart Super Saver Hot Red, Red Hot, something like that, and Red Heart Super Saver White. And then this peach color is, I love this yarn, light peach. And then he's got little button eyeballs, <laughs> and his little nose is so cute. Oh, okay. But yeah, he turned out bigger than the pattern. It's more like an actual uh, bobble, I think they're called, size. But I made it bigger, and I actually like it big. I might go ahead and make the rest of them. I know there's a snowman, a reindeer, a Christmas tree, but it kind of looks like a pickle. <laughs> I think there's four or five more. I can't exactly remember. But yeah, super cute, super easy. I made this in like an hour, if that. I got a lot of fiber fill in there to make him hardish. But yeah, this is going to go into the Christmas ornament category at my fair unless I find another pattern. I think it turned out cute. Alright, that's my finished objects this week. Uh, I was actually hoping to get some of my... I have two corner-to-corner -corner blankets going. I was hoping to get one of them done. But um, I got a big bag of stuffing right here and it's overflowing. <laughs> but uh, I ended up starting another <laughs> pattern that I want to really get done before the fair. I'm making an Afghan pattern for the fair and I really want to finish it. And I've only got... All of July and the first two and a half, three weeks of August to finish it. Whew, I gotta slow down my talking. So let's see, let's talk about my whips. I have one whip that I've not worked on at all, so I'm not gonna show it, but it's the Cats Are Liquid. I don't have it linked below because I can't pronounce that one's name either. And I'm making it with Elf Hook. Uh, I just haven't worked on it, so I'm not gonna show it. Same thing as it was last week. Alright, the next thing is my two cornered corner blankets. This is my zipper bag that I made. Let's dig it out without spilling yarn everywhere. This was kind of a pain in the butt because I'm making it with mandala cakes. I'm holding two together at a time. And um, I was wanting to try to keep the color flow close to it, the same but not necessarily the same. Like when it started off, right here was the starting corner. It started off gray and then it kind of got pink and gray mixed and then it faded into pink, you know. I was wanting to try to keep that. But then when I finished the first two cakes... My other two cakes wouldn't coordinate, so I had a hard time actually rewound them backwards on my ball winder, and only to find out that it wouldn't work that way, so I ended up winding them back up into balls by hand. Um, 
just because I got aggravated. And I, I did two or three rows and ripped it out and just trying to find a good fade. And this one doesn't look amazing, but it's as good as, like, I'm happy with it. Where's my progress? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I did actually get like four or five, maybe six rolls actually done and kept them from, you know, not ripping them out. So let me show you. Oh gosh, you don't have me to see it. Let me stand up. This is it so far. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's really long. Oh, Jesse's looking for me. I hear him hollering. I'm already decreasing it now. So it's already the size that it will be this way. So I'm decreasing it. Ooh, I haven't measured it. I should have measured it. But it's probably, I'd say it's about three feet by three feet or somewhere near that. This is my progress keeper I got in a trade. Isn't it pretty? But yeah, that's how many rows I've done since then. And I'm right there. I did get it to fade a little bit. I actually had to cut out some of the gray to get it to do that. But yeah, I haven't got to work on this much because, I mean, I did work on it a lot, but it was like a few hours in one day where I was doing it and ripping it out and winding the balls and all that. And then I ended up putting it aside. This blanket and my other one is kind of on pause. I did work on the other one today because I was in the car. Devin was driving, so I crocheted some. Um, they will be my projects like that in the car and stuff or when I'm over at someone's house and I need a mindless project. Um... Because of the other one. I forgot what I was saying. But that is made with lime bread, mandala, and unicorn. And so far I've used two whole cakes increasing it. And then I'm going to use two cakes decreasing it. And then I think I'm going to make a white or gray border. Depending on how much. Which, which, which one I think looks best at the time. Probably be gray I think. Because white might make it too bright. Alright, where's my next one? This is my next one. That's just a corner to corner. So there's no pattern. It's just a corner to corner stitch. So is this one. This one I started last Saturday. Devin and I went to the drive-in, and we got there super duper early so that we can get a good spot. We ended up in the front row. And only two SUVs can be in the front row because, you know, visual, uh, letting other people see. But there's only two spa spaces in the front for SUVs, and it's because it's in front of the concession stand. So two big cars can park there, and we got one of those spots. Anyways, oh, that's made with H hook tape, by the way. And so is this one. <laughs> this is another just corner to corner. I just took a ball of yarn and a hook with me that night because I knew we would be sitting there for a couple of hours uh, waiting in line and stuff. Waiting for the movie to actually start. And um, so I wanted something to work on until it got too dark for me to work on anything. So this is just another corner to corner. It's going to be four balls all together. So I'm increasing with two and decreasing with two. So it would be a, a baby blanket size. Um... And it's, I'm making it with H hook and I love this yarn Prince and it's turquoise sky. This is yarn that I got on clearance during that big yard, uh, Hobby Lobby sale, almost said yard sale, that everybody went to and they were 99 cents each. So this blanket's only going to cost in materials about $4 and then a border. So that'd be cool. But I should have put a progress keeper on that night at the movies, but I got about half of this done at the movies and I'm already on the second, uh, ball. It is really pretty, I think. Ooh. That's how big it is so far. <laughs> but the colors are really pretty. I like them. Kind of reminds me of like the 90s colors. It's pinks and uh, purples with whites. And then yellows with whites and white. And then this blue color with white. Very pretty. But yeah, this is already... Right here's the first ball end. Right there. And I just started the second one. I got about four rows done today in the car. Because we were talking, so I wasn't crocheting the whole trip. I was crocheting and talking. Because apparently I can't do that at the same time in the car. I can on videos. <laughs> Let me fold that up and put it back up. That's living in my skeleton bag. That I use a lot. <laughs> it's my drawstring bag. Like the ones that I sell on Etsy. It's got a box bottom. Alright, my last whip. That I'm working on. <laughs> Turn the page. I made, I wanted to make this for our fair because I'm determined to get a best in show ribbon one of these years. I've been trying for the last few years. It's actually not in a project bag. It's in a diaper box because I don't have a giant project bag. And I wouldn't want to carry all these balls of yarns around with me anyway. This is a strictly, excuse me, strictly at home project. I only work at it when I'm at home. I only started it yesterday, but uh, that's my plan is to only work on it at home. I'm using an F, or no, a G hook. One that my sister bought me. It's got a moon on it. 
And this is the Mandala Madness blanket. It went around. It was real popular, I think, a year or so ago. Uh, by Helen Shrimpton. I'm using a G-hook. And I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver colors except one. And I'll point them out. I finished the first. It was a crochet along a year or so ago. Uh, and I finished the first week, I guess, of it. And now I'm starting on the second week. And this is what I got so far. That's it from far. And then I'll bring it up a little bit and you can see it. But the colors are um, Red Heart Super Saver in Hot Red, Pumpkin, Bright Yellow, Spring Green, Blue, and Amethyst. And then this white is I Love This Yarn White. Only because I didn't have an unopened ball of I Love This Yarn. Or Red Heart Super Saver. White. But yeah, that's it so far. And actually, the row I'm working on now is kind of in the back and it'll pop up, you know, behind these big petal thingies. But it is so cool and addictive. I watched, I think, two episodes at ER last night while doing this. And I finished all of this in the two episodes at ER. And then I did start this yellow part this morning. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure how big the blanket's supposed to be. I'm making the smaller size. But um, hopefully if I can get it done in time for the fair, I'll be entering it into the, the, the crochet afghan category. And I'll also be entering a baby afghan. Probably one of the corner to corners. Um, if I get them finished. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, I just got all the yarn chilling in a diaper box um, while I worked on it. I picked Red Heart Super Saver because um, I'll probably keep this blanket as, as much as I'm working on it. And I got a ton of Red Heart Super Saver, so I'm just, you know, trying to use it for my stash because I need to stop buying yarn. But yeah, I already said who that was by, right? I think this is just turning out really pretty. Actually, before I got all this stuff on there, when it was just this up to this purple... I thought that was so pretty, like a flower. That would be pretty to make a bunch of those and make a blanket out of those. Very cool stitch work. This is a really good pattern. A lot like uh, a lot of Heidi Yates sampler um, patterns. It's cool because you get to learn all these different ways to make stitches. Like this is like risen up. I don't know if you can see that. These are triple crochets. And then you work in the back of them some way. I can't explain it. <laughs> but And it bends them over. It looks real cool. But yeah, it'd be a good way to learn how to design your own patterns by making someone else's patterns that are intricate. Yeah, that's everything, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't really have anything. I have a bunch of acquisitions, but I've already started using them and put them up and stuff. And it was just stitch marker things and material and the yarn that I made that corner to corner with. I can't remember if I showed it last week. I can't remember. They all blend together. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about. I'm going to hop off pretty quick because uh, the boys are in there and I want to go play with them. <laughs> but I do want to just mention um, that the cakewalk is still going along. Uh, it ends on October, so if you want to make any pattern with any cake yarn, if it's like mandala or Karen cake or if it's something you caked yourself, it's just kind of like a scrap buster. Not a scrap buster, but a stash buster project. You make any project you want out of knit or crochet and... Um, you can enter it on either my Facebook group or on Mo from Unseen Strands uh, Ravelry group. I'll link it below. And um, you can, you know, try to win prizes this October. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, the Etsy. Um, I updated my Etsy store this yesterday, <laughs> Friday. And I'm, I'm going to try to put some stitch markers in today or tomorrow. Whenever I can get around to taking pictures of them. Uh, I put, I think there's... I put seven in and two sold. So that's five, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight bags left in the shop and there's some stitch markers. Everything in my shop right now is 15% off, 15% off until um, July 5th. So if you're interested in getting a project bag similar to this one, um, hop over there. And there are some stitch markers. And um, yeah, it's going to be 15% off until next Friday or until they sell, whichever happens first. Um, I don't know when I'll be putting more bags in my shop. Probably in a couple of weeks, just because I'm kind of tired of making them. I've made 18 of them, I think, in the last three weeks, so I'm kind of I'm going to chill out and not sew so much um, this next week or two, for sure. <laughs> just because of uh, 4th of July holiday coming up soon and all that. But, yeah. There's no co coupon code needed. It just automatically comes off. And what else? Knit Crate, if you're interested, it'll, after I finish talking, the coupon code will pop up to save you 
20% on your first knit crate order if you're interested. But yeah, that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here because I want to go hang out with my fellas. Um, I'm going to try to get some more videos out. I have a tutorial already filmed. I just got to edit it. And it's uh, how to add photos onto your project page on Ravelry. And then the next one that comes out will be how to use photos and just posting on a on like a group thread on Ravelry because I've had someone request that one. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And just remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't agree with someone's opinion, just go on with your life. You don't have to put a statement out there. You can just leave it and go. Don't purposely be mean to someone to ruin someone's day. And if you wouldn't want it said to you or your child, don't say it to someone else or someone else's child. So just be nice to each other. Be good to each other, you know. People have hard enough lives without strangers making it worse. You never know what someone's gone through at home. You know, you see videos of people or you know them through Facebook or something, but you don't actually know that person. You don't know what they're going through. So you need to be nice to people because you never know if you're the person who makes someone make a horrible decision. And uh, I'm just going to leave that there because I don't want to get too emotional about stuff. But yeah, so just be nice to each other. Please be nice to people. <laughs> don't be a bad person. And especially if you have little people at home, because they will copy you. They will watch and copy you. These kids learn how to bully from their parents, usually. Because bullying is in every walk of life. I've been bullied since I was in elementary school, through middle school, to high school, in college, and in the workforce as an adult. So, it happens. Everybody does it. Everybody needs to take a chill pill. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go off here. Enough preaching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.